Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I showed a picture last night on Junk Journal Junkies and this decorated bag. And a couple of the girls asked how I did it. So I'm going to um, try to have a short tutorial on how I did the layered bag. Um, first of all, I wanted to tell you, these gloves are just for fashion. They are not medical gloves. But I do have to wear inside here compression gloves for the lymphedema lovely side effect of the cancer so i might as well be fashionable so i know a couple girls had asked where i got these and i got these at a museum gift shop over the summer so that's that so on these bags i did a lot of layering and i'll take you hopefully step by step of how i did it i started with two bags these bags were gifted to me from Crafty Irene. I do not believe I can get these on the East Coast, so I'm not sure where they came from. And I coffee dyed them. I sewed all around them. And then I glued it. So you have that as your base. So what I did, now you can layer this with music paper and, you know, the different kinds of paper. But if you're looking for that... I don't know. Well, if you liked what I just did, then you need to bring more dimension in it. And that's where the material comes in. Now, what I have here is I have a piece of old um, bedspread. So I took that. I cut the picture out. And I will just ink it. This is walnut stain. Just I did sew around it. And we'll just do a little ink job. And don't feel bad. Don't think, oh, because I don't have all these beautiful laces and materials and stuff. Old sheets, old clothes. I mean, you'll be amazed what you can find. I mean, our garage sales haven't started yet. But don't think you have to get old vintage wedding dresses and this and that. You can start with anything. Coffee dye it, shred it, or, you know, make it in strips and it's going to look gorgeous. So... I got that on there, and I always angle things. I don't know, it's just a thing that I do. And then I just got scraps. Again, I had, I have a whole little thing of scraps. I think I showed it before. It's a little tin of scraps. Um, and I just cut them and save them. And the layering. <sighs> Usually I'll start... At the end, because I don't like all the edges showing sometimes. So that's, well, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, the big pieces, I like, sometimes I like it hanging over the bag. So we'll keep that there. And I usually, I use um, Fabri-Tac. And I'll glue this down later. Cheesecloth, I usually take, let's see, I'll cut that. And just soften, I just kind of soften up the edges and you're just building up a little. And then I probably will put that there. And like on this one, okay, I had this shiny, <clears throat> I think it was cotton candy. Uh, oh God, glitter. And I don't have any more of them, so I'm going to have to do something else. And then I had a piece of doily. Not that you have to make them all alike, but... So I'm going to take a doily. <clears throat> and stick that yeah, under there. I think I'll tuck this there. And I inked up my little punch-out... Um, butterfly. I bought these at where did I get the um, Walmart. And I'll just put a big one and a little one. Oh my god, these are so little. I'll bend it up just a little. And I'll just put that there. Now for color, I bought in these. Let's see. 
Naturally, I'm not going to find the package. Oh, yeah, these little tiny paper. I Actually, I bought these off of eBay. So I'm going to use these. And the reason why I'm using these is I'm going to pick up, if you can see in the picture, the little bunny rabbits is holding these little tiny flowers. So that's what I'm going to pick up out of this. So I'm going to do the little flowers. So that's kind of going to bring him there. Now, let's see. Oh, I got my little bead. I decided to use one of the my Victorian unboho beads. And I will take that. And again, this I would glue it all down, but I'm not going to take the time. This way I can, that'll be my bead. And the only other thing I need is that I didn't get ready. Is my little um, seam binding. What I do with my seam binding sometimes, if I, for, if I didn't have any that's coffee dyed, I just take my inker. And just throw it through. And then I will put my little... Because I got a lot of white, so I don't want any more white on there. So I'll put that... Oop, too big. Again, it's just playing around with what you got. And I think, hmm, nope, I need another little piece up here. We got so much going on down here. See, this is where I did a little piece of lace there, actually. So to get another little piece, I'll just trim this. Stick that back down there. And I'll glue that up there. This way it'll bring a little of that. Maybe I should have glued it. And that's pretty much it. Just play around with it. And I mean, if you could wanted to put some bling, I don't think so. I think I like them both. I'll probably, what I don't like, and I did, is this ribbon. It doesn't pick up anything. So, either sometimes I'll run it through a different color ink, like a pink, which I don't have right now. And I'll just do, I'll stick with the coffee dye. The edges are a little coffee dye. Yeah, that's better. And I might even put a little pink in the butterfly but that's it i hope that helped um you can leave a description um any questions down below um if i went too fast if i went too slow if that helped any like any other questions i really appreciate you guys and i'll be back with a couple flip throughs and then the giveaway next week so make sure you put a comment in the previous video have a nice day. See you soon.